Hello and welcome to an Avado Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi Purdila, and in today's video, you'll learn about WordPress tags, what they are, why we should use them, and how we can add and edit our own. So let's begin. Uh, tags represent one of the predefined taxonomies in WordPress, and their purpose is to categorize WordPress posts. When it comes to categorization, you might be familiar with categories. If we uh, take a look at uh, some of our posts under categories, and so you'll see that these are all the categories currently present on this particular installation that I have here on my computer. Now, categories are very broad, right? They're used to uh, kind of group posts that are related to the same topic. For example, if you have a um, uh, tech blog, uh, you might have a category for, I don't know, Apple devices, a category for Android devices, another category for PCs, right? Now, unlike categories, uh, tags are very specific. So for example, if I was writing a post about the latest hardware released by Apple, let's say, I could have tags like Apple event, iMac, iPad, Mac OS, iOS, keyboard, and so on. So a tag is much more specific than a category. And you can think of tags as keywords, right? So what are the main keywords that would describe a given article? That's what tags are all about. Now, how do you work with tags in WordPress? Well, you go to posts because tags can only be applied to posts. You click on tags. Here's a list of my existing tags. And if we want, we can add our own. Let's say, I don't know, iPhone and hit add new tag. So now when I go and create or edit a post on the right side, panel under tags, I can start typing and it automatically finds tags that match uh, what I just typed. So I can select iPhone from here. I can even add new tags here, like for example, Apple. And that's going to automatically create a new tag. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish this, uh, this post. Let's open it up and the tags are displayed right here at the bottom of my post. You can see Apple and you can see iPhone. And these are links. Of course, it depends from theme to theme, but most themes will um, create links on these so that when you click on a specific tags, it's going to list or it's going to give you the archive page for that particular tag. And it's going to show you all the posts that have been tagged with iPhone, for example. Uh, if you want to delete a tag, well, you simply go back to tags. And on each tag, you can see a description, the slug, and how many posts it appears on. So let's say this one, for example, doesn't appear in any posts. So I can either hit delete and OK. Or I can check it. And then where it says bulk actions, I can select delete, apply. And now that tag is gone. To edit uh, a specific tag, you can either click here to open up the edit page where you can change name, slug and description. Or you can do a quick edit. And it's going to open up an inline form where you can change the name and the slug. And that's it for tags. With that said, thank you for watching this short video. I hope you found it useful. Make sure to follow us on social media and stay tuned for more content like this. I'm Adi Purdila, and until next time, take care.